Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Wendigo. So this is a movie that I've seen on streaming for a while. Um, I watched it on Tubi. I've seen the cover. Uh, I've been kind of interested in it, but I never thought to check it out. And there, like, kind of the reason that I decided to check this out is because there's this one uh, rapper that I like, and his name's Cemetery, and he put out this new song called uh, Wendigo, and the, the the song absolutely slaps in my opinion. I've been uh, listening to it on repeat, and he kind of like at one point in the video, like he. In the video, he's got, like, this chainsaw going on, and he, like, has, like, the Wendigo uh, antlers going on. He, I don't, if, if people are unfamiliar with this rapper, he, he has, like, a lot of, uh, like, horror references in his songs. He'll reference horror movies. He references Evil Dead a lot, Jeepers Creepers, um, and then he'll reference different, uh, myth like, hor like, mythological monsters and cryptids and stuff like that so yeah I, I like his uh, music and yeah I, I've been listening to that song on repeat and I'm like I gotta watch this movie and then another reason uh, like kind of maybe like subconsciously why I wanted to watch this is because um, my first manager at my current job he would always be talking about cryptids I don't know if um, you know, the Wendigo is a cryptid, it's probably more of a mythological monster, but, uh, he would always be talking about cryptids and stuff like that, and he was always putting me hip and telling me, like, the lore and the stories, and, you know, I like, you know, I, I'm into, like, horror, and I like all those, it's, just, like, all those, like, creepy stories, it was interesting to me, so he would be telling me about, like, like the Mothman and the Chupacabra, the Jersey Devil. And I knew about the Chupacabra and stuff like that and, you know, Bigfoot, of course. But then I found out all these, like, movies related to these mythological creatures and these cryptids. And I was like, I got to check those out. Those seem really cool. And a lot of them are, like, sci-fi channel movies from the 2000s, which I have, like, a sweet spot for. I, I, or a soft spot for. I really like, uh, like like sci-fi channel movies from the 2000s I don't know why but I'm just like a big fan of a lot of them and it was funny like he he would always um you know be talking about cryptids and you know I personally don't believe in them but he he did believe in them and you, you like couldn't say skinwalker it was like something like he thought if you said skinwalker it would like it would cause bad luck or like the skinwalker would m mess with you in some way. So I would do this in like a lighthearted fun way, but I would always just be like, I'd be like, skinwalker, skinwalker. And I, he'd be like, no, no, don't say it. I'd be like, hey, guess what? Skinwalker. So yeah, uh, you know, that's just, I'm, I'm kind of going off on a, on a tangent there. I, I haven't really talked about the movie, but yeah, that was kind of, those were the two reasons kind of why I decided to watch this. Um, and, you know, it's, it's probably been a couple minutes. I can't see the time on here, but let me get into the actual uh, review here. So, uh, but that was fun. I like to kind of, you know, you know, just uh, share my own experiences. I like to just kind of go free flowing. I just freestyle these videos. So, that's my style. I just, I might talk about this, that, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, I got the, I got the, the freestyle style, I guess. But anyways, I'm going off on a tangent again. Um, I need to, I need to focus, uh, rein it in here. Uh, I'm like a dog seeing a gosh darn squirrel, you know, I'm like, what? Oh yeah, v uh, movie review. Anyways, um, my overall opinion of the movie Wendigo. So I didn't hate it, um, but I thought it was kind of dull and it wasn't, it was slow, but I wasn't really, like I, I wasn't really bored with it. I was still kind of engaged, 
and there was some cool atmosphere and I, I liked some of the you know mythology and stuff so even though it was kind of dull I'm gonna say it was okay I'm not gonna say that I, that I did not like it I'm gonna say it was okay and uh, now I'm gonna get into a quick plot summary so you got this family they're going on a little trip it's like a little road trip they're going to this uh, cabin I believe it's uh, in upstate New York they're from the city they're going to this cabin in upstate New York while they're uh, driving they accidentally hit a deer and they're stuck on the side of the road there's these uh, group of hunters they're kind of you know more of these country guys they're kind of rough around the edges and they're giving the family uh, you know some trouble because you know they they were trying to hunt this buck all day and I believe it was like a nine point buck it was something or maybe even more but it was it was like a good buck and they were you know like deer hunting I I don't I haven't gone hunting but like some people in my family go hunting and like deer hunting it's not like bird hunting where it's a lot of action it's like you're you're kind of sitting around all day like you gotta be very patient so they were tracking this deer all day you know trying to get the kill and this family like ruined it they they like when they hit it they ruined the antlers so these townspeople are are a little bit mad uh, but you know everything's all good nothing crazy happens the family gets to this cabin and they find like there's just a weird like the the deer incident was a little weird they were a little shaken up and then I'm a little stuffy I'm sorry I'm stuffed up I'm this is probably annoying but um yeah there's some weird stuff happening once they get to the cabin they find all these bullet holes everywhere and they keep seeing this one uh the the guy who gave him a hard time about killing the deer like the the local hunter guy they keep seeing him he's acting shady um and then the the kid who's actually he, the the actor who played the kid he he played uh Dewey on Malcolm in the Middle I used to watch that show it was a pretty good show but uh so yeah that's like kind of noteworthy but anyways the kid he's having all these weird hallucinations and then you know, the next day they go to this thrift store. Uh, some Native American man gives uh, the kid this like little Wendigo statue and tells him the legend of the Wendigo. And then, then this man just disappears. And they're like, there is no other person who works here. And then other weirds and and catastrophic events take place throughout the rest of the film so that is the basic plot so let me see uh, what I, I wrote like a, this one point here is like it's like a paragraph it's not really I just write like I, I get like a uh, wide ruled I don't get college ruled because I'm like I can't I can't write well well actually I can actually because I'm not a big typer I don't even I don't even know what the heck I'm talking about I'm just thinking out loud but anyways let me just uh, check out what I was saying here so okay so I I mentioned that this movie was extremely slow okay which a lot of times if a movie is slow and and not you know slow in a good way not like a good slow burn I'll be bored I'll be disengaged I'll be sleepy that was not the case with this. This was slow and kind of dull at times, but for some reason I was still entertained and engaged, like I had a decent time with it. But um, I think I think uh, the the editing and the pacing could could have been a little bit tighter. You know, of course at the beginning of the movie there has to be world building that we have to learn about the characters we have to learn about the setting um, you know there has to be kind of a, a turning point like a an event that kind of sets everything in motion but you know there, there can only be so much world building I feel like there was so much where it was just like you know the the, the family dynamic and 
you know, setting everything up where it, it should have moved at a quicker pace. It should have been a little bit tighter. It's like, okay, we're introduced to the characters. This, you know, this is what makes them tick. Let's move forward. But, um, yeah, they kind of like the, there was like a lot of world building and a lot of scenes and sequences. I feel like were not as tight as they could be. Like there was a lot of fluff. I feel like there, there could have been a little bit tighter editing. Um, and what else did I write here? And then an, another, another thing. So, um, it, a, a slow burn movie sometimes works very well because it, it's almost like when you're going up a roller coaster, you're slow, slowly going up and then you hit that peak and then it's like crazy, you know, it's like zero to a hundred. Um, well not zero to a hundred cause you're slowly building towards like the third act. But this movie was a very slow build, but I feel like the climax w wasn't extremely exciting. I enjoyed the climax, but it wasn't, it wasn't like insane, you know, it was cool. It was, there was some action going on, but the actual like climax was very short and you did get to actually uh, see the Wendigo and that was it. The Wendigo like towards the end when, when you see the Wendigo, the Wendigo looks great and it's like, there, it's a pretty cool sequence. Um, but the whole like action packed climax was short and it wasn't, I, I, feel, I don't know. I feel like, I felt like kind of cheated. I was like, I was like, that's it. Like I, 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 you know, watch this slow movie where like nothing was happening and like that is it. You know, it's like, I I don't even know if I should mention Halloween. I always meant when I'm talking about like a slow burn movie, I always talk about um, Halloween or, you know, it's like a good slow movie. I don't know if people, people know this. What is it called? It's a vampire movie. Um, mid, it's called Midnight Sun, I believe. And uh, it's this vampire movie. It's I feel like it's kind of obscure, but that movie is very slow, but it's done well or like, I am going to reference Halloween. I know it's kind of a cop out, but Halloween slowly builds, but it's, you know, it, it, it's paced well and stuff is moving forward at a decent pace, even though it is slow. And once you get to the third act, once you get to the climax, it's action packed. This movie, it, the, the, the climax was good, but it felt like it didn't feel like it felt like it should have been bigger and better for how slow the the movie was like building up to it it should have been crazy you know because there was just i was like when is something going to happen when is something going to happen and some stuff happened but it it was nothing crazy and it was very short so yeah that's what i'm saying all of that i kind of wrote in one paragraph so that was like a lot i had to get off my chest i just have a couple more points here that are more random that was like my main like gripe with the movie um so my uh the, this this point is very random um but it's just kind of a fun point that i it's just a random thought that i had when i was watching this so do i have like a drippy nose i sure hope not that would be embarrassing i've had like a drippy nose at work before and i'm like talking to customers and my, i just don't have time to get a tissue i'll just i'll be dripping it'll be like a hot it'll be like a hot uh young lady and she, like I'll, I'll be like talking to her and I'll be, have just like snot dripping down both my nostrils. It's, it's terrible. I don't know why I said that on here. That's probably, I don't, I don't really care. Who, who cares? I'm, you know, whatever. What are you going to do? Like, I'm not, I'm not tripping. But, uh, but anyways, uh, like I said, I go on a lot of tangents. Focus, focus, focus. Um, uh, so I'm like, doesn't Dwayne the Rock Johnson say that? Focus, focus. I'm, du I'm Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I got his, uh, I got his hoodie. It's like an Under Armour hoodie. It's pretty sick. Shouts out Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, but anyways, uh, the dad at one point in the movie, he gets shot. And when he, once he gets back to the house, you know, he's in a lot of pain. He's in shock. The first thing my man asked for is a drink. And... I like that because, you know, knock on wood, 
I, I don't want anything to, you know, ever happen to me. I don't want anything catastrophic to happen to, happen to me. But if something crazy like that did happen to me and I had some crazy injury, I don't even like talking about that stuff. I don't like putting that stuff like out in the ether. That's why I got to knock on my wood. I'm a little, uh, a little superstitious. But anyways, if something bad happened to me like that uh, and I was in a lot of pain, you already know, I'd be like, yo, give me a drink, give me a double, give me a triple, stack. It's getting late. I need a drink. Uh, little Halloween 3 there. I might have butchered the line, but if you know, you know, and you, you probably know. But anyways, um, yeah, he, I like that he immediately asked for a drink. That's my man. Uh, that's my homie. Uh, and, but, but, the, but the weird thing is, he asked for a scotch, and... The kid brings him Jim Beam, which, you know, Jim Beam isn't scotch, it's bourbon. It's a it's a different, you know, variation of, of whiskey. It's like its own thing. Um, so I was thinking, like, did the, did the dad just not know his liquors? Which, who cares? Like, I'm not an elitist with drinking. Like, I drink cheap stuff. I don't care. But, like, come on, man. I, I know the difference between bourbon and scotch, at least. I know, like, the simple stuff. Like, did the dad not know? Or it was it because the kid grabbed it? He just grabbed the wrong thing. Um, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. But like, that's hooked up though that they had the Jim Beam bottle because that's like that's my go-to, one of my go-to drinks. I do like a, I do that with a little Diet Coke or I do a a rum and coke and rum and Diet Coke like I'm Julian from Trailer Park Boys. Like, you know that's I like those like dark liquors with a little Coca Cola. That's my thing. So, I mean. Even though they did, you know, you know, say it was scotch and it's, it's really bourbon, like, what am I, some elitist? I don't care. I just noticed that. But, I mean, good on them for having the Jim Beam bottle in the movie and uh, sipping, sipping drinks. Because if you're in that position and you're, you might, you know, something bad might happen anyways and you're in a lot of pain, you might as well get a little turned up, in my opinion. Like, come on. Like, if you're, if you're about to go, like... You best believe, like, you're about to have a couple drinks going on. Like, wasn't it the one guy in Beer Fest, like, the grandpa? Like, he's, like, he's, like, on his deathbed. He's sipping, sipping drinks. Like, dude, if you're about to go, like, you got to go out. You got to go out in style. Um, but anyways, I'm, this is, like, kind of morbid. I'm kind of getting bummed out. I got to get on to a, a happier topic. And my next point is, is not a happy topic either. I got to do, like, a comedy movie next. That's why I don't just do horror on here. I don't know how people do that. Shouts out to channels who do that. I would get, I gotta mix it up. I would get too sad, but uh, I'm just kidding. But uh, kind of not kidding though. But anyways, um, basically this is like the last thing that I want to talk about. And it's another random thing, but uh, you know, I said that the dad got shot and they, they rush him into emergency surgery and the kid walks in and uh he just walks right in the operating room and the dad he's getting operated on this fool's eyes are open he's wide awake um and i was just i was just thinking like what what the heck you know there's some procedures where you're you're still awake like I just had some procedure on my neck some well not just it was like a while back I think I was like all stiff neck in the, in the video I think um I think it was like my creep show 2 video but anyways I had like some procedure on my neck and it was like some injection and I was still awake but that's not like a major surgery like if you have to get emergency surgery for a bullet wound I'm pretty sure they put you under so I was just like what the heck but I guess I guess you could, you, it, it could have been a, well, like, because it, it, towards the end, it was definitely a hallucination, because the, the son, he would just have all these crazy hallucinations, and he, like, hallucinated his dad, like, getting up from the operating table, and it was like, he was in this, like, frenzied state, so maybe the whole operating scene was supposed to be a hallucination, but... Just when the kid like immediately walked in, I just thought that was strange that the dad's eyes are open. Like I just think in that situation they probably you know put him under. But 
I don't know. That's just like a nit nitpick, just something that I uh, noticed and, you know, thought I would point it out. But that's the last uh, little thing I have here on my notes. So I'm going to get into a recommendation and then I'm going to head out. So even though I did think this movie was okay, like it, it I didn't hate it. Um, it was entertaining. It, I was, you know, you know, I was pretty engaged. It kept my interest for the most part. Um, e even though, you know, w w with all that being said, it, it was pretty dull still. It was very slow, not in a good way. Um, it took a lot of time for anything to happen and the climax wasn't that crazy. So yeah, I would, I, I would, I would not recommend it. Like it, it's a, it's an okay movie, but I don't really think it's, it's worth a watch. Like I'm probably never going to watch it again, but you know, there was some, some cool stuff. I did like when they were like talking about the, you know, the Native American mythology and once you actually see the Wendigo, it's pretty cool. And there are some, you know, creepy, mysterious elements that kind of go hand in hand with the the slower burn pace where it's like, you know, it kind of has this eerie vibe to it. So there is some cool stuff, but yeah, I would not uh, recommend it. So yeah, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to head out here. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you all very much for watching and peace out.